Hello everybody, welcome to a new video. It will be a really quick one. In this one I will show you how you can create uh, some extra effects on your cadence blocks. Uh, as you see here, like this little uh, circle uh, thingy. Uh, this is the easy thing to do, creating some sort of a shape. Um, but we can also import, I know it's not really looking uh, it's not really useful here, but you could also import complete images and add them wherever you want. Could also be here, could also be here. Um, the normal cadence blocks, of course, have the background uh, option, but this is like more a way to style a little bit more, to add some accents. You can put them in whatever place you want and it can also be different uh, sizes and different um, looks and colors, of course. So this is a really short one where I will show you the custom codes and how you can do this um, yourself. Okay, so I'm inside of my customizer here. If I open this up, this is the, the code that I've now uh, typed. Uh, let me just remove this for now. Voila, so now you see this disappeared. We have the standard. This, by the way, is my website that I created in a couple of videos back. So the first thing we need to do is uh, select the right uh, place where we want to uh, make those effects. So we have to go inside of the inspector and have a look in the overlaying block. So here we have a inside inner call. This is something that would work for this. You see that we can use this. Um, and then we're just gonna use one above because K KT inside inner call. If I use only this, there are, you see already over here, there is also the same naming. So it would select every inside inner call and this would of course give us a problem so we have to make it a little bit specific i only want this inner call okay so i'm gonna go to the overlaying section and i'm gonna copy this one so this is a specific code that's only applied to the overlaying row layout let me do the dot command v then we're gonna say the cadence inside inner call but i'm gonna make it also more specific by typing this icon and then put it inside. This means that the direct child, uh, only this inside inner call is going to be selected. And then we're going to type something else. Dot dot before is the thing we need. Um, and this is allows us to place something so before this uh, inside inner call. You always have to start with the content and we're going to just say two lines without anything. So um, there is nothing inside for now. We're going to set a width width i have to type it right of 150 pixels i will show you you can change this of course in height also of 150 pixels we're gonna say the position should be absolute and we're gonna place this top zero this means regarding to this kt inside inner call so if you see the blue top zero this means it will be positioned at the top here and then we're going to use the left value and we're going to say minus 50 pixels and also i have to close this down like this this means again if we have the kt inside inner call uh, this means that it will uh, use the left side so where you have the blue overlay on the left side minus 50 pixels is also a little bit to the outside of the inside inner call here okay and then we're going to set a background for example light gray and then you see immediately it works you see so this is now I'll, let me make this a bit smaller you see we have placed a square like uh, thingy over here uh, to have like an extra effect um, and this is the width is and the height that's a square because we have an equal width and height if i would place this and make this 250 you would see this becomes a rectangle so this is what i mean you can put in values whatever you want and it will change accordingly yeah um, the color of course you can choose whatever you want you can also use gradients so if i put gradient then parenthesis and then i add another one for example i have to add the linear 
word before and now you see it has the goes from white to gray the first uh, word here the, so you have the two colors from light gray to white or in this case from white to light gray how according how you see it and you could also uh, set the uh, orientation here but then you just uh, if you look up linear gradient you will find some videos about this but this is something you could um, change to whatever colors you want and you can make custom values if you wanted to have a little bit board, um, rounded quarters really simple we just type in border radius and we make it eight pixels or whatever close it down and you see we have the rounded corners i usually find this works better um, when you use lighter colors for the because it shouldn't be really really distracting so i like the normal light gray for example um, better but of course that's something optional and you can uh, choose um, we can look white smoke so you can see whatever works uh, for you white uh, for example would work here as well uh, but then it's almost impossible to see if we want to do the same and we want to add one more we just copy everything command c on a mac command v and we change the before with after after this will now place in second uh, square, but now we can say the position should be bottom zero. And you see it goes over here and also right minus 50 pixels. So now it's over here. Let me change this to light gray so you can see it a bit better because you will see there is something else missing. You see it's not comp it's overlaying our uh, content. If you have this problem, you can go wherever you want. You can put this at the bottom, Z index, and then you have to ch change this. I'm going to change it to minus one and you see this is sufficient. If it doesn't change it, you can just put in a higher value uh, until you see it goes away. If you think it's overlaying too much, you can also use negative values here. You can say minus 20 pixels for the bottom so we can see it a little bit better so this is all customizable uh, according to what you want yeah <clears throat> if you would want to use a um, image that's also uh, possible the only thing we need to do is then change this background value and replace it with our you type in url then you have the parenthesis and then you have to open them up and then you paste in the url with your image and you see it puts in the image now we can add different properties so you can say the background size should cover so now you see the he tries to fill in the full image inside of the small um, container and then the background position for example whoops that was wrong background position you could say i want it to center so it puts the center of the image uh, so these are some properties you could add just to show you that it is possible to make gradients it is possible to create background images this way um, as well uh, background images this way i wouldn't probably do too much but you can make custom things in figma or in uh, canva and then have something more specific or something more cool looking than just a square or a rectangle um, we can also make this a circle by just adding the border radius making it really big for example 100 pixels you see it becomes a um, same thing here if we increase this it will have the same effect and makes it a, a round thingy okay so this is something you can play around with if the positioning does not work it's because the overlaying this one has no position uh, relative uh, on it so you have also always have to make sure i specifically also used the kt inside inner call if i open this up one more time and go to my elements you see the kt inside inner call you will see position relative as has already been set up and that's just the coding from cadence yeah? if i had used this one for example you see here there is no specific position relative and this could mean that if we tr if i tried it on this it would have probably the positioning would probably be not work or would be off the positioning so then you have to just set a select this on itself make one row before like this and then you just type in position relative now it's not going to change anything because it already has position relative but uh, then you would have you would have to do this and then probably make it more specific by also selecting uh, this one first yeah so just copy this completely paste it on top 
and just set position relative like this. Yeah? But here it's not required because it already has the positioning. So this is something you can play around with and pimp your designs a little bit. The last small thing you could do is also put something inside of content. Let's say you want to use some kind of a um, text, then you, you don't have to use the background value to make a background. Um, we can say, for example, we type in some letters and you see it puts some content um, over here. Um, the width and the height here are not going to do too much. It's just going to put it inside of a container, but it's not going to actually change the um, size. So you could, you could work with, let me remove this as well. So the position absolute and these values still uh, work. Then we can say font size um, 10 rems and you see it becomes really big. And now we can adjust a little bit uh, top minus 100 pixels so it comes across. And then left minus uh, also minus 100 for example, maybe even more, 200. So you can add some um, some effects like this as well by typing in text and then you see it can have like a breaks a bit the layout here uh, because it goes outside of the screen so you can make really specific things um, you can every position everything uh, related to to fonts you could apply here to to make it um, you can add a line height of whatever you want to rams this will change something you see so every property you could also you could just use on a normal text because you typed in text here we can use this as well and change this to um, whatever you want i don't think maybe if the font weight will change too much let's try it bold Oh yes, you see. So everything um, is applicable. Uh, you could also add an extra background here. So say white. So you can apply both of them, um, for example. And now you see the text is still there. So and we still have. We also have a sort of a white white background um, as well. So you can style this however you want to. We could replace this with cars. Um, so this is something you can. Uh, yeah. Play around with and uh, this was the last thing that i wanted to show you thanks for watching see you in the next one